Hi everyone. So, my friend Tarangi wishes she was here more than anything, but unfortunately she couldn't be here. So she thought, so, who is the coolest person? Okay, read this story. You make it sound awesome. She, you know what? She couldn't find that person, so she sent it for me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sangeeta, and this is my dearest friend Tarangi's story. Broken wings. I slip the lens cap into my jean pocket. I fumble with the lens, zooming in and out, trying to frame the picture I hate when I can't capture the scene properly because people are blocking it from my view. Now this is different. There are no crowds, just a few lone figures and uh, grayish paths trying to avoid the next salty wave. Green trails run along the ground with the occasional purple flower emerging from the crunched seashell and bedded sand. There's a couple on to my right, so I push a little more towards the left and risk having a single man standing in the water in my picture. Two weeks later, I scroll through the pictures after uploading them onto my laptop. I did manage to avoid the umbrella couple on the right. Uh, it's not socially acceptable to be affectionate in public, so couples hide behind an outstretched umbrella, hence umbrella couples. But the man on the left is still on the frame. I zoom in to find a fisherman. I hadn't noticed his fishing rod before. Gray hair on his head, white vest, and a sarong bent halfway upwards from his knees, tied in a knot below his bulging stomach. Fishermen usually fish in deep sea in the morning. What was he doing in the shallow water where there are unlikely any fish? I scrolled back a few more pictures and there he was walking along the coastline. Was he there to catch his daughter in the forbidden act? We can't have our daughter associating with that man. What will people say? Will he drag her away or confront her at home? He started working as a teenager, waking at 3.30 a.m. and heading out with his father as the birds began chirping in the dark. The thin gold band around his fourth finger had been there for 32 years now. Then married late. Leela and some other women would, uh, women would tap the fish out of the large fish, net, fish nets when their husbands returned to shore after proceeding to the after which, uh, before proceeding to the market and their husbands, with their husbands, to sell fish. Their daughter, Nandini, would be at school. The monk had named her based on her horoscope. She will be a light to her parents, he gently said, tying a piece of blessed white bird string around the infant's right wrist. His mind always traveled 20 years ago. He left the house in the morning and Leela met him at the beach. When they got home, Nandini wasn't home yet. Maybe she's studying at school, they agreed. Her breakfast of rice with dal and coconut sambal had been cleared away. They realized she was gone after they learned that she never made it to school. They filed, they filed a report, put up flyers, notices in newspapers, waiting for stretches at the police office. They went to the temple to pray and even made an offering at a covilla, the Hindu temple where Leela frantically begged, her palms stuck together in reverence, her eyes struggling to bear the weight of her fright and love. Please, we will offer more baskets of fruits to them. Whatever the gods want, please. The Kapu Mahataya, who read her horoscope, said that we might never see her again. Her loss came like a large wave, the current pulling him down by his ankles, his body collapsing towards the ocean, bed and the saltiness stinging his eyes, every little wound on his body. She walked to school by herself because her parents had already left the house. No one would have noticed if someone crept into their house. She was only a little girl, 11 years old. Maybe if he had some other livelihood, he, wouldn't, he, he could have been the father who would have dropped his daughter to school instead of leaving home before she had even woken up. So now he came to the sea even when he didn't have anything to do. With an old fishing rod he barely used. The house had too much of a vacant air in it. Where else was he supposed to go? What else did he know how to do? He looked at the young couple 
the air traveling down his lungs, filling in deeper, heaving him down as if a heavy load of fish had been dropped down his air pipe. Would his daughter ever have the chance to have been married? He wondered if that could have ever been her. Thank you.